When you first go in, it's flat, and the closer you get, the more excited you get. And the second you peek over and see that clay, it's, it's nothing like it. Our area is steeped in racing history. There's Briscoes, there's Tates, there's Kinzers, there's all these famous names around here, and Dick was one of the big ones. Probably the greatest car owner in our area. I'm Richard Briscoe, and I'm Chase's grandfather. He bought a sprint car in the early 70s, and it was at Bloomington Speedway. I was a nervous wreck because I had seen, as a young kid, people get killed in him. And my, that was my dad out there, and I was just scared to death. I was really glad when he quit and just started hiring drivers. One time, just one time, Steve Kinzer drove it. <laughs> but after that, Doug Wolfgang drove it, Dave Blaney drove it, Jack Hewitt, and then, of course, Kevin and Chase drove it. Chase didn't get the reins till Kevin stepped down. Yep. And then once Kevin retired from driving, he handed that over to Chase, and uh, he was just out of the box fast. I mean, personally, I didn't want him to be a race car driver because I knew how hard it is. The chances of him making it to where he made it is just, it just doesn't happen in today's world with our financial situation. A lot of people would not necessarily bash him, but talk down upon him saying that he comes from money, he comes from racing, which if they came to this shop, they would know that he doesn't come from money. He comes from a solid racing foundation. They gave him everything they could, but not necessarily the best equipment. He just drove it so it was like the best equipment. And I told Chase that our sprint car deal's gonna be done, you know? You better be finding something. Deep down, he knew he did have the talent to do it if he got the right opportunity. Tony Stewart was from Indiana. It meant something to him. So I think he knows him saying, I'm from Mitchell, Indiana. He knows that that's special. The pride I get the most is when people come up to me and they tell me how great a kid Chase is. And I think it goes back to my dad and what he passed to me and what I tried to pass to Chase is how to, to respect people and to love people and I hope for generations to come that when people talk about the Briscoe name, it's about how good a people they were, not about how good a racer they were. From the fields I used to roam. I am very well blessed with the legacy that we have and the community way they're behind Chase. Been a great ride. Then I long for my